Hey y'all, Elizabeth and Coda here. <laughs> and I thought it would be fun to see if she would chill on a live <laughs> with me and talk about her DNA results, which were pretty pretty interesting, I found. I've always, um, Cheap has one pending. It'll be a, probably another week or so before I get his results, but Coda got hers done first. And we got lots, would you stop? We got lots of information. Would you stop? So I have no idea if she's going to sit here beside me the whole time. And I know that when she puts her head down, she's not really showing up. But we're working with what we got. So before I get into, this is the Wisdom Panel DNA test, which tests not only for breed, but also for 152 genetic, inherited genetic diseases as well. So... Of those 152 genetic diseases, Coda has zero. She is clear for those, which is awesome, awesome news. But the fascinating part of her thing was the traits that they said that she had. They had no idea what she looked like. Um, all they had was her DNA sample. And it came back and it said that... Coda was likely born with a long tail, which you, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's currently wagging and all, it's super long, right? Uh, it says that she has a smooth face, short facial hair, not a beard, no bushy eyebrows, which clearly that's right. Um, it said that she appears to be mostly dark in color, either black or brown. And she also has the gene for a mask pattern on her face. Look over here. Would you look? Which clearly a sure does, which is pretty cool. Um, Coda's coat is probably on the long side. Check. Ear carriage. As far as they can tell, Coda has droopy ears. Is your droopy ears? They don't stand up, do they? No. <laughs> They're droopy ears. Um, it said uh, base pigment color. It says, although we're sure Coda is capable of many things, producing black pigment is not one of them. It means her coat will be chocolate rather than black. It means their nose and the skin around the eyes will be brown or pink. Yes, definitely. <laughs> Would you stop? And Coda's legs will be relatively long in length, which they are. I know, I'm surprised. She's actually being pretty good. Um, as long as I keep a hand on her. <laughs> She's sitting in a little fold-up chair beside me. So I thought that was really cool that they could tell all that just by looking at her DNA. Um, but I have lots of guesses from you guys on what she is. And Coda is actually 100% Border Collie, which absolutely shocked me. I knew that she was mostly Border Collie, but I expected something else to be in there as well. But her DNA doesn't lie is that would you stop hang on let me show them can I show them no stop <laughs> it even gave us the little family tree which is the border collie parents border collie grandparents border collie great grandparents so my little girl my little girl my baby girl here is 100% border collie yes yes you are <laughs> so that was really really cool if you've been considering doing a dna test for your dog i highly recommend it i think it's super super interesting um i definitely did not expect coda to be 100 percent, but she is she doesn't have ass to do anything really do you no and i'm super curious to see what chief's results will be because he definitely is a mixed breed and i have always wanted to do one on him he actually turns 12 next week so when he was younger, the tests weren't as accurate and as expansive as they are today. But once I found out that they also do the um, testing against the genetic diseases that can be inherited, I was like, heck yes, we're going to do this because, it, you know, so much can happen and there are babies. So to be prepared for stuff like that, to know what to look out for, I think is pretty cool. But luckily, this girl, she came back clear for all of those, right? Yes. You want to... We also just discovered last week that Coda, <laughs> Coda doesn't like a certain word. It gets her all amped up. Kind of like when some people say sick them to their dog and they freak out. So I'm going to try it and see if she'll show you what Coda's <laughs> word, her trigger word is. Cyclists. Cyclists. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl. 
girl. I don't know why. I don't know why she doesn't like that word, but cyclist will freak her out, apparently. <laughs> all right, that's all I got for you for now. Um, and in case you're wondering, we actually did the wisdom panel was the test we went with. We did it through Banfield. We just made it part of our wellness plan so we didn't have to pay for it all outright. We do the monthly payments, which is pretty cool. I also have a referral code if you're interested in doing that one and you want to go to their website. Uh, I think it's $10 off, so just let me know and I'll happily send you that code. If you have any questions about it, let me know. Other than that, my 100% border collie here and I are going to go hang out. All right, see you guys later. Bye, y'all.